Hello guys, good day to all. This is Mike Padua and we're back to our weekend edition of our update. This is for today, April 25 to 28, Friday to Monday. This is our English version, for to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamakini Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. And let's begin with our update. We are currently having some migraine right now, so I hope it will just uh, go away in the next few hours. But I'm fine. I'm here bringing you the very latest of our update. We have a shallow LPA right now, southeast of Mindanao, which is worth watching since two of the reliable computer models, the American and the European models, are forecasting it to uh, likely develop. Okay, and uh, we're not yet sure where it will pass or where it will form, but we will bring you the very latest. Most likely, it could happen first week of May, but uh, we are going to show you in a while the forecast models, what it shows. That's LPA 99W, that's the new designated number, which has been issued on the uh, weak or shallow LPA. So here's the graph set that we created yesterday. This is valid until uh, tomorrow, Saturday. And here's the weak LPA lingering to the southeast of uh, Davao with the uh, extension or the trough bringing some rain showers and thunderstorms over southern and western Mindanao, including the offshore areas of Bangsamoro, like Tawi Tawi and Basilan. So take all necessary precautions against lightning strikes and heavy downpour when we have severe thunderstorms. Dry easterlies will continue across the eastern coastal waters of Bicol region, eastern Visayas, and eastern Mindanao. There are some spots of uh, thunderstorms within these easterlies. Right now, based on the uh, fast animation, there is one developing here over western Samar, and uh, a large area of thunderstorms moving into Davao Oriental, and uh, Davao del Sur, including Davao City, so expect thunderstorms this afternoon. Here's the LPA that we are observing during the past 24 hours. Here's the zoom in satellite animation from windy.com. This is the uh, thunderstorm that we are talking about. Uh, it's located to the west of northern Samar or over western Samar to be exact. And here's the uh, other uh, thunderstorm moving into Davao mm -hmm. region. Here's this cloudiness of the uh, near equatorial LPA 99W, which uh, the trough extends all the way up to the area of southern Mindanao and uh, western uh, Mindanao as well. So expect over Sambanga Peninsula to have some thunderstorms later in the day. And for the weekend, we ex expect also Increasing thunderstorms across Visayas, Palawan, and the uh, Bicol region, some parts of southern Tagalog, will also experience some um, localized thunderstorms this coming Sunday. Here's the uh, latest uh, forecast models. We begin with the uh, European model, and we will uh, give you the forecast for the next five days, since that is more on the higher side of the probability compared to more than five days, which is uh, low in uh, probability or high in uncertainty. So uh, right now it's here. This is from the European model. On Saturday, that LPA will uh, move towards the uh, areas of uh, uh, the Celebes Sea, south of Davao. That will be on Sunday. And uh, Monday, it will be moving into Mindanao. So expect thunderstorms here early next week. And uh, during the last day of uh, April, the LPA will accelerate and will emerge over southern Palawan. And on May 1st, 
it will be over the West Philippine Sea. Moving farther with lower uncertainty, I mean lower probability, the LPA will move into the eastern coastal areas of Vietnam. So there's no uh, showing that it will pass over the zone based on the European model. It remains a low pressure system, not a tropical depression. But we're going to show to you later the latest from the ensemble. This is the final take based on the ensemble of the European model. If we take a look at the American model, it says uh, the LPA will uh, start to uh, dissipate here. And then another one will form on Monday somewhere here, southeast of Palau. That will be April 28, April 29. It will reform here over the east of Palau, moving north. Last day of April, Wednesday, it will become an active LPA. May 1st, Labor Day, it will become an active LPA as well. Okay, uh, I mean it will remain. And then if we, uh, May 2, it could become a tropical depression approaching eastern Samar. May 3, becoming a tropical storm. Moving across Albay and Cabarides Sur. And then on May 4, Sunday, it will be over the northern tip of Camarines Norte. So this forecast remains highly uncertain. Like I said, if it's more than uh, five days, the uncertainty is high. The probability is very low. So it continues to be a fantasy forecast. Okay. So that's the mm -hmm. forecast. If we move forward into day 10 to day 14, mm -hmm. it will curve towards the open waters of the Western Pacific over the North Philippine Sea as a typhoon. Okay, so that's the uh, forecast after five days. So it's a different take of both uh, models. If we uh, finalize the track, this is the American, I uh, the European model passing here dissipating there and then appearing here moving that direction while the American model is uh, forming here then reorganizing here then moving here crossing eastern Visayas Bicol region and then it will uh, emerge over the eastern coastal areas of northern Quezon and move towards a recovery take okay it will occur towards the northeast over the open waters of the Philippine Sea or Western Pacific. So it remains a big, big question mark. It's not yet sure which model will come through, but based on the seven day forecast, the European model will always emerge as the true winner when it comes to forecast, uh, forecasting tropical cyclones or LPAs mm. for within uh, less than 10 days. Okay. So we will keep you updated, especially next week, if this LPA will come through or become a tropical cyclone. We are here to give you the very latest. Now here's the ensemble that we are talking about. So this is the uh, American model. It shows here by, based on the 2 a.m. ensemble. It will uh, track towards Eastern Visayas and Bicol with a very high uncertainty. If we change this into 8 a.m. today, let me see. I showed you not yet available. While well, uh, let's take a look at the American, I mean the European model ensemble or the ECMWF ensemble of this LPA, and it sh it shows that the track is more towards the West Philippine Sea, somewhere here, not not on this direction but more in this track but the uncertainty remains high so let's see let's wait and see now if you're asking what will be the uh, monthly average of tropical cyclone forming during uh, the early uh, months so let me move this here so this is the uh, formation of tropical cyclone from Pagasa what we should expect during the next few months. So for the month of May, we uh, have an average of one or two that may form based on the average tropical cyclone frequency from 1948 to 
2024. So you can clearly see here that the month, the months of uh, February, March, April is the lowest, including January. But during May, it will increase to roughly one tropical cyclone forming. So we are now into that uh, quarter that tropical cyclones will tend to uh, form. Okay, and for the month of May, based on this uh, track of Pagasa, uh, it shows that most of tropical cyclones forming May either affects Eastern Visayas, Mimaropa, Southern Luzon, Bicol region, and uh, including most parts of Luzon. So, generally speaking, this will be the track. So, let's hope that the forecast of the American model will not come true, but we still don't know since we are still entering the month of May and we shall see in the coming weeks if uh, there might uh, a strong uh, cyclone that could form. But we will keep you updated. Let's uh, cross our fingers that uh, no tropical cyclone will affect us, but we expect increasing thunderstorms to develop based on the computer models right now. Tomorrow, I mean this afternoon, we expect thunderstorms over Mindanao. There is a one very small thunderstorm that formed uh, over uh, somewhere between Milalabat and Pamplona. There's a thunderstorm here around uh, 1 p.m. today. And by tomorrow afternoon, we expect increasing thunderstorms over Visayas. Most particularly over Mindanao. So don't forget to bring your umbrella or rain gear if you're... Uh, living in Mindanao and when we uh, move into Sunday most thunderstorms will increase in uh, intensity or frequency over Visayas, Palawan, Mindanao and some thunderstorms may also form over southern Tagalog provinces including Mindoro, Marinduque, Bicol region so we expect uh, this kind of uh, forecast for the next uh, two to three days and on Monday again same situation Tuesday increasing thunderstorms still over Mindanao and Visayas because of this uh, LPA here 99W and on the last day of Wednesday it looks like thunderstorms are here to stay for the next uh, seven days here in our country particularly over Southern Luzon, Visayas, Palawan, and Mindanao. So don't forget to bring your rain gear, umbrellas, and uh, avoid going out over open fields where in thunderstorms may generate lightning strikes. Okay, so uh, for the wave forecast, nothing to show you here for the next uh, five days until... Uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, last day of uh, April, the wave heights here over the East Philippine Sea will remain around 1 to 1.3 meters, while over the West Philippine Sea, it will be from calm conditions up to 1.5 meters. Over the inland waters of our country, it will remain calm to half a meter in wave heights, so suitable for fishing and sea travel. Now, before we end this update, here's the latest Global Tropics Hazards Outlook issued by the uh, Climate Prediction Center of NOAA. Uh, this was issued Wednesday, so this is valid for the next two to three weeks, wherein the third week is highly uncertain. On week two, valid April 30 to uh, May uh, 6, we can uh, expect above average rainfall of 50 to more than 65% across uh, southern Luzon, Mimaropa, Visayas, and Mindanao, because of that impending LPA that could uh, pass over our area between May, I mean, April 30 to May 6. So thunderstorms will be a much common feature during uh, the week, the second week, I mean. And week 3, valid May 7 to May 13, above average rainfall of more than 50% will be expected across the country. So we are now entering the time where in the southwest monsoon will start to kick in, usually during the last week of May or early uh, weeks of uh, June. So expect rainfall, thunderstorms to 
return to our country during that time period. So that ends our update for this weekend. I hope you'll be having some great weekend ahead. Stay safe always. And uh, we will see you next week for another update. This is Mike Padua saying uh, good day to all. And thank you so much for watching our channel.